Hello friends, welcome back to tutorial in English literature. Today's video will be an introduction to William Conville's masterpiece, The Way of the World. I have divided the whole lesson into four parts. The first part is when was William Conville writing? In the first part, I want to discuss the historical context, the social political and cultural context, the milieu in which William Congreve was writing. William Congreve was born in 1670, just 10 years after Charles Stuart was restored to the throne of England as Charles II in 1660. England felt relieved at the end of the Puritan age with its stifling moral codes, disciplined lifestyle, the rigorous nature of Puritan rule appeared to the common Englishmen as a kind of social oppression. I have discussed these things in detail on my video on the social history of restoration period. If you have not watched that video, please watch that video. The link will be found in the description. So when Charles II arrived in England, the people of England welcomed him in open arms. In 1642, Puritan government banned theatre. And the first thing that Charles II did after becoming the King of England was to reopen the theatre in England. He granted patent to build theatre to Thomas Kilgrew and Sir Davenant. He was personally interested in restoration comedies. And the restoration comedies became a kind of weapon to celebrate the end of Puritan rule. The restoration comedy was quite different from the Elizabethan comedy. There are few reasons. The first reason is the difference between the audience of the two period, Elizabethan and the Restoration. After the rigorous discipline rule of the Puritans, when Charles II arrived, there was an air of freedom in England and as a result, a section of people went to the farthest opposite direction of the Puritan rule. That means a large section of British people, mainly the aristocratic class, indulged themselves in libertinism, in sexual freedom in immorality and the audience of restoration comedy was mainly congested of that aristocratic class because the middle class the large portion of the middle class still affect the puritan agenda and they still believed that theater was a source of immorality so they stayed away from theatre. And the poor people who filled the pits of Elizabethan theatre found the one ceiling entry into the theatre at the restoration period was too much for them. So they also stayed away from the stage. So the audience is mainly congested of the upper class, the aristocratic class who wanted a particular kind of comedy. 
so the restoration committee catered to their taste and that is why the restoration committee took as its subject the macho aristocratic life the restoration committee celebrated their macho lifestyle the libertine life at court and that is why there are obscenity in the theme and there are profaneness in the dialogue even charles the second himself encouraged this kind of dialogue he even emphasized on the fact in the patent that the role of women should be played by women so you can understand how much how fast the social fabric of england was changing after the puritan rule so when congreve began writing that kind of celebrating mood was not there the public taste had started to change they have started they have started to demand respectability seriousness from the dramatist and now the audience a large section of audience were female and middle class people they demanded a different kind of comedy so at that time william congreve appeared and started writing and that is why william congreve's comedy is different from the writers of the earlier generation of restoration comedy of manners like william wycherley and george ethach the second point that i want to discuss here is what was congreve depicting what was congreve writing about in his plays or in his the way of the world so like other comedy of manners congreve wrote about the aristocratic society of london london was the growing the fast growing capital of england and it is also the hub of the social cultural and political development in england everybody wanted to live in london and the main attraction of the london was the aristocratic people in the play the way of the world we find the handsome gentleman aristocratic gentleman talking to each other in the chocolate house and the beautiful ladies they were walking in the st james park of london and they are accompanied by their male admirers so this is the life that william congreve has depicted in the way of the world with a satirical tone he has also depicted the country people in the play we will find sir wilful who comes from the countryside and through his character william congreve has depicted how the people of country wanted to be like the aristocratic men of london they wanted to copy their fashion their manner of talking their behavior their courtesy everything they try to blindly follow them and through the process they prove themselves fools william congreve has also portrayed the decreasing importance of marriage in the society the devaluation of the institution of marriage at the end of 17th century we find in the play that the husband and wife quite are quite indifferent to each other and all are engaged in different affairs extramarital affairs 
men are ready to have affairs and women are ready to give them encouragement so this is the kind of immoral society that only has depicted in the way of the world now the third section is who are congreve's targets in the play whom are congreve satirizing here so the first thing i want to tell you is that william congreve is unique in his criticism of his contemporary society william wishley was also satiric his plays was also a satire of his contemporary society george ethach has also parodized the contemporary society of his time but william congreve has identified the faults of the present society and he has investigated the aristocratic life and made satirical comments had painted their life through ironical brush and in the play the way of the world his main targets are three the first one is the pops the fashionable popish foolish people in the play we find two characters witwood and petulant they are pops popish fashionable dandies they are not witty like mirabel but they wanted to be witty everybody wanted to be witty in restoration england it was almost a craze everybody wanted to copy the witty people and witwood and petulant blindly copied mirabel they wanted to be like mirabel they wanted to follow fashion they wanted to follow the trends and that is why they quote milamant the heroine they clearly know that there is no chance for them to win the love of milamant but they quote milamant because our hero mirabel quote milamant and it was the fashion of the time so they wanted to copy the fashion of the time and in that way they proved themselves foolish so these two folks are one of the main targets of congreve and the other one is sir wilful but we have to remind uh, we have to remember it that sir wilful has a golden heart that petulant or witwood do not have sir wilful comes from the countryside so it is natural he is unaware about the etiquette about the highly artificial manners of the aristocratic society and that each why sir wilful appears funny comic but he has a good heart at least okay so the main targets are the pops or popish characters but we have to also remember it that these characters are not harmful the second target of congreve each the immoral witty people who are really dangerous really harmful for others in the play the way of the world we will find fenol mr fenol is a witty man that means he is intelligent he can talk brilliantly he can use language in various way various stylistic manner can he can impress others he can manipulate others through his style through his language through his uh, handsome outlook everything he has but he is immoral he has no sense of responsibility to his wife he has extramarital affair and he can be queer he can harm others so that kind of man is the main target of william conway they are real threat for the society okay 
The third thing that William Conklin has severely criticized in the way of the world is the hypocrisy, the affectation, the pretension of the aristocratic society. Social facade has to be maintained and that is the rule of the game. For that reason, while reading the play, we find that Mr. Fennell and Mrs. Fennell, though they are husband and, husband and wife, they are indifferent to each other, they are not in good terms, they hate each other. But still, when they are in public, Mr. Fennell calls his wife in sweet names and she replies to Fennell as my soul. That is a complete hypocrisy. The second thing, the women are distrustful to each other. They do not believe each other. They are suspicious of each other. But still, they behave like friends. For example, Mrs. Fennell and Mrs. Marwood, they behave like friends. Mrs. Marwood and Mrs. Quisfort, they behave like friends. But they are ready to harm each other. Okay, so everybody is acting a role. Nobody is normal. Nobody is in his or her own self. Everybody is artificial. And that is why this kind of comedy is called artificial comedy. Okay, got it. Now, the last section. So, this is the way of the world. This is why, this is how the world is going on. But what should be the way of the world? What are the solutions provided by our author? And here is Congreve really unique. He is not a cynic, he is not a pessimistic. In spite of these problems, he still holds a strong belief in the society. And he has provided here four solutions. The first one is his hope is in the true wish. The term true wit is very important. True wit means he is not only intelligent, witty, he is also a gentleman who has generosity, who has decorum. Okay, so true wit means a gentleman as well as a witty man. In the play, our hero Mirabel is not no more a red hell as the heroes in the play of George Ithart or William Michelin. Mirabel is a descendant of a red hell, but in comparison to the rakish heroes of Ithart and Michelin, he has decorum, he has grace, he has gentility. And that is why Mirabel is a true wit. The readers can depend on Mirabel. Mirabel has an affair with Mrs. Feno. But he is better than Mr. Feno. Though he has not married Mrs. Feno, he has made all the arrangement so that Mrs. Fennell can live in the society with her owner. He is still in good terms with Mrs. Fennell. They are good friends and they share each other with, they share each other secrets and they can trust each other. So this kind of man is the hope of the society. The second solution is the concept of true love that Conry has presented through the love relationship between Mirabel and Milamet. The relationship between Fenol and Mrs. Marut, Fenol and Mrs. Fenol have shown how the values in society were decreasing. How the institution of marriage 
was on the verge of destruction. But still, the hope is in true love that we find in Mirabel and Minamite. Conviv has analyzed their love from a rationalistic point of view and it is far away from the concept of lecher. Like other restoration comedies, in Way of the World also, the main theme is marriage, love and money. And here also, it is complicated by the parental oppression, parental opposition, the opposition from Mrs. Wispot. But Conrib has presented it in a very different way, very rationalistic way. Love without money is a problem and money without love, which is the aim of a kinik, but not the aim of mirabel. So here we find that Conrib is not sentimental, that money is not needed. Conrib abhor, Conrib disliked this kind of sentimental view of love in which the lovers immerse themselves and lose their identity. Rather, Conrib has emphasized on the fact that the lovers should keep their integrity as an individual. Isn't it? You will find it in the Proviso scene also, where the heroine, Milaman, is again and again demanding her freedom after marriage. So they are busy to build their future life after marriage. So we can find that here Conrib's love is not metaphysical, not sentimental and it is not a kind of sacrifice also. On the other hand, it is not also carnal love. Lechery. Conrib's view is that love includes dignity, mutual trust, mutual understanding. We also find that Mirabel loves Milament, knowing all of her defects and that's very important because when Phenol gives a solution to Mirabel that if you want to live like a man, marry Milament. Because when you will marry Milament, you will come out of the illusion of Milament. But the reader knows that Mirabel is not in the illusion of Milament. Mirabel knows the real Milament with her faults. And that is why we can hope that their relationship will be stable after their marriage. Got it? The third solution that Conrib has presented here is through the metaphor of black box that Mirabel presents in the last act of the play. This black box is the metaphor for law, legal system that guarantees that gives hope that everything will be well even if there is criminal like phenom in our society. So here legal system or law has been given a great importance as a solution to live in this real world. The last thing that Conrib has given some importance here is the women's right. So when Conrib was writing, it was almost the end of Renesa. Renesa has made men aware about the individual man, individual being. Individual has become more important than the society. But men had been enjoying the fruits of Renesa. Women remained almost in the same position. 
they are kept at home they are not well educated they are not well trained for any profession so they are completely dependent economically completely dependent on their husbands and father in a patriarchal society so the condition of married women is really pathetic they had no freedom and that is why in the proviso scene we find that milamans demands again and again her freedom as a woman the freedom that she has been enjoying as an unmarried woman so congress shows here that if women are given proper importance at home they will be happy at home women are finding no importance at home and they are going outside of home because they are getting attention in the hands of their lover in the extramarital affair because their husband are not attentive to them they are not giving them enough freedom so that is the problem and its solution has been provided in the provisoism so that is why only is quite unique in the way of the world though it is a comedy of manners and though conflict conflict has been severely criticized by jeremy collier in his book a short view of the immorality and profaneness on the stage but still we can find that there are a lot of things that counter the views of collier so i hope this lesson will help you to understand the text better i have already posted a few videos on restoration age and restoration comedy of manners i think if you watch those videos it will be helpful for you the link of all the videos are given in the description box that's all for today thank you for watching